Representatives of institutions working to control and eradicate tuberculosis in the Gambia have started developing a new national TB strategy plan for the period 2013 to 2017. Isotomani attended the opening ceremony of the program bank rolled by the Global Fund, and this is her report. The previous national strategic plan covered the period 2008-2012 and was modeled around WHO Stop TB strategy. The vision was towards rendering the country a tuberculosis-free nation in which the disease no longer poses a threat to public health. According to the program manager, although some of the targets established in the previous strategic plan were met or exceeded, much more needs to be done if the disease is to be averted. Our next task for the next five years will be to consolidate the gains made over the past years and begin to move the country towards TB elimination. To be able to do this, we need to have a strategy that will address the challenges that were faced during the past five years. This requires a coherent strategy, a strategy that enables existing achievements to be sustainable, addressing the constraints and challenges, and strengthening health system. Mr. Jalo believes that the strategic plan is expected to provide the appropriate framework that will ensure coordinated contribution of all partners in the financing of the interventions that are necessary to reduce the burden of tuberculosis in the Gambia. The TB program, according to the acting chief medical director, has achieved tremendous success rates, particularly in area of treatment success and increased case notification rates. Dr. Adam Ademba believes that the major challenge remains the progress towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals. As we know, gains have been achieved, targets have been met. However, as I said, if the program should sustain and build upon gains achieved, it is important for this workshop to develop realistic strategies and interventions as well as activities that are implementable. These activities should be properly costed and most important should be in line with the global strategy related to Stop TV. The two-day program officials say is crucial in the development of the next national strategic document. Therefore, all hands must be on deck for the successful implementation of the tasks ahead of the participants. For GRTS News, I am Esetomane. The Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education has released the results of the 2012 Gambia Basic Education Certificate examinations. A news release from the said ministry reveals that 29 candidates scored aggregate 6 in 2012, making an increase of 8 on last year's. The dispatch also states that 10 of those outstanding performers are from Gambia Methodist Academy, four from SOS Haman Minor, three from Charles Jow Academy, three from Central SS Kanifing, while two are from Latrikunda, Abuko Birkama, Birkama Methodist, Kaneba, Kombo Kerewan, Latrikunda Sabiji, and St. Augustine's Upper Basic Schools. Each had one, ca one candidate who scored aggregate six. Candidates to release ads are to receive their individual results from their respective schools. Admission to grade 10 should be based on passes and the core subjects to be decided by boards of governors, which should not exceed aggregate 42. The release ends. Direct Aid has started providing food aid to a a targeted 8,000 families affected by last year's poor harvest through Africa Muslim Agency Kuwait. The relief organization commenced in Tujereng and Gunjur, where 750 families received food packages. Modijalo tells us more. In response to the 2011 crop failure in the country, the Africa Muslim Agency, through its head office in the Emirate of Kuwait, distributed food items such as rice, oil, milk, powder, and beans to 750 families in Gunjur and Tujerang, Combo South District. Similar exercises would also be extended to other regions of the country. Hussein Ali Abdul Aziz from Africa Muslim Agency Head Office said their objective is to give support to the needy and the Gambia is one of the countries in Africa that benefited from this support due to the 2011 crop failure. For Abraham Dabo, Combo South disaster focal person commended the humanitarian agency for bringing support to the doorsteps of the needy. Speaking on behalf of the Gunjur Alcalo, Al-Haji Seban Cham thanked the donors for the gesture, describing it as timely.
Muhammad Kabir J, project manager, Africa Muslim Agency, revealed that the pattern of distribution was designed by the National Disaster Management Agency, giving priority to the drought affected areas in the country. So this is in response to His Excellency the President's call to the international community to intervene and help uh, the drought affected areas around the country. So in this program, we are distributing food. The food is about rice, uh, powdered milk, oil, cooking oil, sugar. We are giving it to about 8,000 families around the country, from Comba South to, uh, to North Bank region, Lower, Lower Badibu, to also LRR to Central River region. Morijov, Regional Disaster Management Coordinator for West Coast Region, commended Africa Muslim Agency for the support and called on other philanthropic organizations to follow suit. A similar, um, a similar distribution is being done at um, Tujareng. I was, I was there. And uh, from here, they are also moving on to North Bank. Um, they would also be going to LRR. They would equally be going to CRR. And uh, so that means it's, it could be described as a nationwide coverage targeting some of the borderline villages that are affected and mentioned at the report. So what do you have to tell them? Well, to, to thank them very much on behalf of uh, the Governing Council of the um, National Disaster Management Agency, on behalf of the um, uh, workers of the agency and all humanitarian workers. So thank them very much for their positive response and also to um, uh, appeal to others to come forward. There are still, still families who are affected and are not yet assisted. And uh, we would need the support and collaboration of other partners to ensure that those, other f those families are equally assisted. The distribution was witnessed by natives of Gunjur and its surroundings who benefited from this donation of food items. Or Jalo, GRTS. Well, you can monitor GRTS Radio live on our website, and that's on www.grts.gm. Time now to take our first break. When we come back, we'll take a look at more news. This is the month of goodness. This is the month of giving. This is the month we reflect upon our lives and spell the name of Allah to fill our souls with faith and love with every step we take, with every smile. We are a nation with a bright future that we walk towards. Hand in hand, as one. Our Africa. Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome back. Well, two weeks after his shocking death, Ghana's former president, Professor John Atta Mills, has been laid to rest. The state funeral attended by several world leaders offered ordinary Ghanaians the rare opportunity to reflect on the peace and political stability that characterized the late president's 10 years in power. Let's look at this report for more. Dressed in red and black, the colors of mourning in Ghana, thousands have paid their last respects to late president John Atta Mills. The mourners came from all over the country, gathering outside the state house in Accra. Mills died suddenly on July 24th. I fought almost uh, two and a half hours to be here, and uh, it's so important to me because I love my president. That's why I'm here. The funeral proceedings began on Wednesday. Thousands lined up and waited for hours for a chance to view the body. Mills was a father figure to many Ghanaians. His tenure in office and his legacy reinforced the democratic credentials of his country in an often turbulent region. I love him from the bottom of my heart. He gave us peace. That's very important. He deserves a beautiful place in heaven for all he has done for us. As President Mills always says that he needs peace. I expect the new government, that is uh, President um, John Mahama and his cabinet, should also emulate. They should always let the nation be calm so that everybody can move 
about his or, uh, his or her work freely. So, from